Hello guys, welcome again to ITS, Information Technology Skills. On today's video, we're going to have an introduction about process in operating system. Pero before yun, discuss muna natin the difference between a program and a process. If we say program, it is a piece of code that may be single line or million line of code. And it is usually written by a programmer using a programming language. An example of a program is ganyan po. While a process is basically a program in execution. A process is defined as an entity in which represents the basic unit of work to be implemented in the system. So basically guys, kapag yung program mo nararan na or na-execute na dun sa CPU, that's the time na magiging process siya. And this process may be divided into four sections. Yun po yung tinatawag nating process architecture. And these are the four sections. We have the stack, heap, data, and text. The stack contains a temporary data such as method, functions, parameter, return address, and local variable of the process. Then yung heap naman guys is dynamically allocated memory to a process during its runtime. If we say text, there's a process. This includes the current activity represented by the value of program counter and the contents of the processor's registers. While yung data naman guys, this section contains the global and static variables. We also have three components of a process. The executable program itself, the address space of the process, and the execution content of the process. So during the runtime of a process, meron tayong mga tinatawag na CPU burst and I.O. burst. So ano nga ba tong CPU and I.O. burst? For CPU verse, the process is using the CPU to execute machine instruction. While yung I.O. verse, the process is waiting for its I.O. operation or writing to the disk to finish. So this CPU verse and I.O. verse will be used later on as we go on or as we discuss process in operating system. Now guys, we're going to talk about the different states of a process. So the first state is new state. Okay, so from the word new, the process is being created by the operating system. So bago pa lang siyang may execute or idadala pa lang siya dun sa execution. After the new state, kapag Mag warm up na siya, of course, pupunta siya dun sa ready state. For the ready state, the process is ready to be executed by the CPU. So, kapag ready na siya, it means that ready mo na siyang ma-execute. So, once the process is being executed, yun na po yung tinatawag na running state. So, yung running state, guys, ibig sabihin, na-execute na yung isang process. But, during its execution, nagkakaroon tayo ng block state. Or, kung minsan, tinatawag itong as waiting state. So, bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng block or waiting state? If there is an I.O. or event wait. So, ibig sabihin, mapuputol yung pagraran nung isang process dahil meron kang dapat hintayin it's either input or output or other event dun sa process. And once that the I.O. or the event is complete, pwede na siya ulit bumalik dun sa ready state. Kung minsan naman, kapag nasa running state na yung isang process and may interrupt siya, dumediretso na lang din siya ulit sa ready state. So, from the running state, Babalik siya sa ready and it will be executed again. This interruption happens when the process is temporarily held because of timeout event, just like recall that is multitasking. Each process is given a certain time to execute. Okay? So, pag marami daw na iraran na process, kakaroon ng multitasking of 4C CPU. So, para map 
stop muna siya ng konti, babalik lang siya sa ready state, wait, stop ka muna, execute din kita agad. Pero wala siyang kailangang hintayin. So, after the process is being executed, of course, meron tayong tinatawag na terminated state. Ibig sabihin, tapos na pong ma-execute yung isang process. We also have what we call the process control block. Process control block or PCB is a data structure maintained by the operating system for every process. Okay? So, PCB is a storage area about the details kung ano ang laman ng isang process. The PCB is identified by an integer process ID or PID. So, these are the content of PCB. We have the process state. A process can be new, ready, running, waiting, or other state. So, para alam ni CPU or ni operating system kung ano na yung current state ng isang process, of course, may store yun sa PCB. The PCB also have the program counter. The program counter lets you know the address of the next instruction which should be executed for that process. Meron din siyang CPU register. This component includes accumulator, index, general purpose register, and information of condition code. Okay, so, the program counter, CPU registers, and other registers, na-discuss na rin po natin yan dun sa different video natin. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box or dyan sa taas ng screen nyo yung link kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung registers. It also have CPU scheduling information. This component includes a process priority, pointer for schedule queues, and various other scheduling parameter. For CPU scheduling information, this will be discussed dun sa next video natin. Yung PCB meron ding counting and business information. It includes the amount of CPU and time utilities like real-time use, job, or process number. Meron din siyang management information. This information includes the value of base and limit register, the page, the segment table. This depends on the memory system which is used by the operating system. It also contains IO status information. This block includes a list of open files, the list of IO devices that are allocated to the process and others. So ito yung mga bagay-bagay na meron ang isang PCB or process control block.